Oh my god, my son is trying to kill me. What I, what I do? Why would you turn? You said, You're supposed to wait. You was in the turning lane. You're supposed to sit there and wait till the car across the street. Okay, my son's trying to kill me. Raw honesty. <laughs> Woo, child. Woo. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me, y'all. My son don't have his license yet. He's 17 and we're going out shopping for him to get some clothes and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of a long way to go. We don't usually drive long distance with him driving. <sighs> but he was like, you promised me the next time I can drive. So pray for me, pray for me. <laughs> I'm up here like, why'd you do that? Why'd you do <laughs> And he's like, oh, you told me to turn, like, oh, get in the turning lane. Oh, Lord Jesus, Lord. This is my last one, y'all, though. This is my last one. I only had two boys. And he's about to graduate from high school. And then I'm going to be. <sighs> Got to go through this all over again with sending the child off to college. And, oh, Lord, it's such a happy time also a when your child is off to go yes freedom is coming man i already told him i'm gonna change his bedroom into my youtube office my little studio i'm gonna have my green screens and my lights and all that kind of stuff in his bedroom <laughs> because by then my oldest son should be on his way out He's trying to move out like around maybe this summer-ish, trying to save up enough money to move out because I'm one of those mamas who, you not moving out the house until you save up enough stacks to where I feel comfortable that you not gonna move right back home. And I'm doing that just because, I mean, financial, you know, companies, they'll tell you to move, to save every adult, and, and no, we all can't do it. We, I can't, I can't even lie, sit here and lie and say, I've done it. But six months of whatever your bills are per month, that's what you should have in the bank, just in case you got laid off, just in case you got hurt, you can't work, just in case the economy just takes a huge dip like it did you know years ago back in like 2000 what was it around 2007 that that was hard that was a hard time for me because i was in real estate and every real estate company around me was closing or downsizing people were losing their homes nobody was buying home it was it was really bad so i remember that point in my life really well and so i teach my sons the same thing but see the thing is when you still stay home with your parents, you have an easier um, time to save up like that when you your parents paying most of the bills and you're working. And so that's what that's what he's doing. I make him put a certain amount to the side every payday. Put that in your moving moving account. So that's what we do. <clears throat> but I feel if he saves up at least five, six months worth of what I think his bills might be, um, then he, sh he should be good. And I've been teaching and training him, you know, finances. I got him his first credit card two years ago. So he pays that on time and, you know, pretty good kid. Be right back. Kids call it. Okay, honey. Yeah, it's good advice. Um, I, re I recommend that to a lot of parents because my parents, they didn't do that when I was growing up. When I was growing up, there was no, and I don't know why, so I'm not trying to, you know, put fault on my parents 
they just didn't and i think it was because they parents didn't so that's that's all i think that's about but there was no make sure your credit score is this much make sure you don't get every credit card when you're in college because they give them to you like candy um i messed up my credit early early in my life <laughs> early because of college and those credit cards just kept giving to you and giving to you and giving to you so my oldest one been in college for three years and one credit card i took him to our bank opened him a savings and checkings account when he was like before he left for college so when he was like 18 and asked them to give him a credit card for emergencies and he been having that one credit card for three years and i told him that's all you need yeah, there's all these different stores, JC Panties. I mean, you know, tons of stores out there at the malls, Target, you know. <clears throat> right now, at your point in life, as a young adult, you do not need a credit card for every doggone store. Get one major credit card, you can use it wherever you want to rent a car, get plane tickets, I mean, whatever you want. And so, that along with teaching him about credit making sure he pays his bills on time car insurance all that i've been doing that for a couple of years he's 21 now so i think by the end of this year he should be good to go if he wants to move out but and another thing um i know a lot of parents as soon as you get 18 you gotta get the heck out of here. I mean, sometimes it be like that. And it depends on the relationship between the parent and the child as well. Like if you got one of those children who are straight up heathens, out there in the streets trying to be thugs, disrespectful to you or doing, you know, wilding out, no matter how much you try to teach and train them and spend time with them, getting them on the right path. Sometimes it's like, okay, you grown now. So I don't fault no parents who got to put their children out as soon as they, you know. But I got some pretty good, decent boys. And I am not, like, in no rush to... So that was what, I'm not in no rush to um, get my kids out the house. And my son, my oldest one, knows that. I've always been telling him. When you ready to move, you move. Now, you are not going to be staying up in here till you like 30, 40, 50 years old. <laughs> Ain't no way in heck are you about to be staying up here now. You know, within the next couple of years, you should be working your way up to moving out. And he's trying to do it within the next year. So that's cool with me. I just want to make sure he has enough of months worth of savings on bills. Um, for rent and everything. Hey, Miss Gina. How you doing, sugar? Mwah, mwah. Love you. How you doing? Are you at work today, Miss Gina? Or do you got to work today? I'm off till this evening. I got to be at the nursing home this evening. But this morning, I'm off. And I got my son doing some driving lessons while we out running errands for him getting him some clothes and things that he need so <laughs> i'm being chauffeured this morning so you pray for me pray for us <laughs> but hopefully soon he'll have his license i told him i'm gonna take him on his birthday uh his birthday is the 10th so i'm gonna take him on his birthday if that's during the week is your birthday during the week? It's on the weekend? Okay, well, probably the day after, whatever the next day is. Oh, it's, on the Sunday. it's on a Sunday, so we can go Monday to get it Friday. On the 11th. But, and I'm praying that he passed his test because he's been driving and I've been teaching him. And so hopefully, you said you gotta, you said you gotta make uh the donuts. You said we got Mason Donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Gina said, Happy blessed birthday, young king. Oh, my bad. I 
I guess I can. He said thank you. I'm gonna just hold the phone. But um, yes, I have to uh, I have to be at work later today around like four. Make them donuts. Yes, yeah, somebody got to. But then after we uh go do a little shopping, then we're going to meet my other son who should be off of work within like the next hour or so. We're going to meet him for lunch. He actually was talking about breakfast, so we might go somewhere where they sell breakfast and lunch. <laughs> but yeah. You had a you had a good live last night too, Miss Gina. On your other channel, hold on, hold on, hold on. What what now? You said you said uh, I'm going to have our virtual party tonight on my uh, what other channel? You're gonna to have to give me the information. You're gonna to have to give me the information on your other channel. Hold up, what is this? Now I work um, four to eight thirty, but I can still be on. You know, I can still be peeking in tonight. So if you go before I get off of work, I'll still be able to join in and show my support and support others as well for the party. But it's really cool what you're doing. It's really cool what a lot of people are doing on the uh, internet right now. As far as uh, Shine and Phi Babe. Oh, okay, 8 o'clock. And you're the Shy, so you Midwest time just like I am, I think. Aren't you on the same uh, Central? You're on Central, right? Central Standard Time. Just like I am. I believe. But, yeah, that's really great what you're doing. I was just talking to my son, like, literally, Miss Gina. I was just, because we were talking about Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, but we were talking about YouTube channels and stuff. And I was just talking to him about, I was like, I know some people who are really supportive on, on YouTube. And I said, then I know some people, like some really big YouTubers, um, who uh, charge you like if you want to say your channel name or something on their channel they'll they charge you and stuff like that so we were literally just talking about that about supporting people on uh youtube you just sent me a uh okay okay i'll um sub you back as soon as i get off this live as soon as i get off this live but yeah that works out fine because i get off at 8 30 and if y'all start at eight, I can tune in and then I could uh, watch y'all on the way home and then jump on the computer once I get home. But that'll be good. That'll be good. So, but what do you think about um, Five Babes' video yesterday about her, you know, going to court and what's her face not showing up, like? I've always, the whole reason why I'm, I'm paying very close attention to this with her and Sean is because I hate cyberbullying. I really do. I hate stalking. I hate, I mean, I done had like two or three stalkers in my life. So I know what it's like to be stalked and people prying in your business and trying to find out your whereabouts and what you're doing 24 hours a day, making threats to you. I know that life really well. Um, but as far as like cyberbullying, I just wanted to see how far it can go or if there is really a positive outcome on YouTube because last night, what's her face? I'm going to just call her what's her face. 
she was over there on her live and they were still like saying her name like nicknames and stuff like that and they were talking about it and everything and she was claiming she's never been served and she can't be served on her job because it's private property and blah 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 and i'm like is this just going to be a piece of paper that five babe and sean and others might be fighting for or if it's really going to be beneficial to them and then to other youtubers if we have to go through the same process so i think that's what a lot of people is um a lot of people is waiting to see if they get harassed and bullied and all this kind of stuff will it be worth their time to go through the courts to get restraining orders and stalking orders you know what i mean right right yeah a person can be served anywhere a person can be served anywhere you know as soon as you can but yeah a person can be uh served anywhere but i just want to i mean i'm totally behind five babe and sean i'm totally behind them i just like i said a lot of people are looking forward to finding out if this will really stop the bullying that's 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 the bottom line that's what i want to know if this will really stop the bullying because other people who have been bullied and harassed and stalked and flagged all the time and stuff like this they are looking you know for a good outcome just like i am i pray it all ends soon too i pray it all ends too but from what i'm seeing so far it's like okay five says she got been had a restraining order for so long her i mean she didn't let it know on her youtube channel and of course you know she be watching what's her face be watching everybody watching five babe it was so many people on her live last night so you know the trolls is watching and everything and they taking word back to her so she knows she's been served she knows she's supposed to go to court and she now knows the next court date even if she says she doesn't know so i just hope that everything that they're fighting for will have a great outcome because we just don't want people bullying us that's all it is we don't want people bullying us that's the bottom line i mean if she would stop all the bullying stuff nobody would even care i mean Nobody would want her channel flagged. Nobody would want her channels take down. She wouldn't have to create 50, 11 channels. You know what I mean? If you just do what you're supposed to do on your main channel and not harass and bully folks, you wouldn't have to have 50, 11 channels. You wouldn't have to always have your channels flagged. I mean, I, I don't know. Like we was talking on your live the other day, Miss Gina, life is too short to be so negative and to be life is too short stop slow down slow down and then turn right i mean left put your signal on because you gotta turn left but um life is too short to be so negative and you gotta wake up every day in a battle like who wants to wake up every day in a battle when i wake up i want to see my two sons i want to be able to go to work i want to be able to come home cook dinner spend time with my children you know have family time you know it takes less energy to be positive exactly i'm not that kind of person who's always bitter and mean and out to get somebody and out to always get one up on somebody else and go straight to follow that red card so right signal get over and then watch both ways when you turn but um yeah i'm not that person i've never been that person turn left <clears throat> and then find a parking spot but i've never been uh that person now where the snow at but uh i've never been that person now what i have been was a very kind nice and generous person 
who will go ham and eggs on somebody if they take me there. Stop. Pull out. If they take me there, sure will. I've been that person because of the way I grew up <laughs> around gangs and all that and having a lot of family members in gangs, we had to fight. We repped our neighborhoods. I was I was in that life when I was growing up. So it ain't it, it, it might not take you too much to get me out there, you know, in the streets, putting some hands on somebody. Right. Same here in Chicago, right. We got family in Chicago. We got family all the way from way down south. Yeah, there you go. You can stop. Way down south to Chicago. I got people in <clears throat> Waukegan, Chicago, all up there. But I am definitely 360 degrees from who I was as a young child, as an adult. I mean, a young adult, as a teenager. Because you could say one word to me, you could barely get the word B.I. out your mouth before your teeth got knocked out. So, yeah, it was all about that life growing up. <laughs> It was all about that life growing. I had my crews. I had my clicks. <laughs> so I said that before, though, you know, on my YouTube channel, there, I, there's a lot of things that I used to do back in the day that some things I'm proud of, some things I'm not proud of, but all in all, everything that I've done in my past life, like a lot of people, it brought you to who you are today, a much better person. I think I'm a fabulous, great parent. Thanks to a lot of stuff that I went through and a lot of stuff that I seen growing up. So it, it, it can make a difference in your life going through a lot of things in your life. But if you go through a lot of things in your life as a young adult, a young child, and you don't learn nothing from it and you don't teach your children better or teach them to do better. That's your fault. That's nobody's fault but yours. Because one thing I've learned is. You cannot keep blaming your past or people in your past or people who done you wrong, no matter what it was, no matter if it was like um, abuse, child abuse, uh, rape, um, domestic abuse. Uh, 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 even home, I was homeless for several years in my life. Like I heard your story, Gina how you was homeless. I was homeless for several years in my life when I was a young adult and I lived house to house, slept in people's uh, couches, basements, um, lazy boys. I mean, <laughs> I was there for a couple of years when I was younger. And so that taught me to a lot of things. And that's why I was saying at the beginning of this live when I was talking to, um, uh, Talking to um honesty, honest raw T. My son wants to move out, my oldest one, who's 21. And I told him not until he has at least five or six months worth of savings for bills to move out. Because I'm that parent that knows what it's like to be homeless. And I don't want you to feel like you'd have failed if you have to come back home right away. You know? Yes, God keeps us covered indeed. Yes, he does. And one thing my sons know, if you ever have to come back home, of course, I'm going to be like, you know what? Come on home, child. Save us some more money so you can get your own place again. You know, I'm going to help you out. But that's as long as you one of those children who uh, mind parents who are respectful. Um, don't be trying to run my house like it's your house coming in at 3, 4, 5 in the morning. They know better to do stuff like that. So I don't have no problems with my son still at home at 21. He's in college. He works. Helps around the house. Helps me with my other son, his brother. So, you know, it's all good. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But yes. So I'm praying that this all works out for Five Babe and Sean in the end. And that... It might be a lesson for other YouTubers to know how to act <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> but, um, and also, um, it'll benefit others who are harassed and stalked so they can know the proper procedures to take. But yes, God bless the mess, honey. <laughs> but I'm going to be there with y'all tonight. 
um, on your live. So I'll be there around eight o'clock for your live. But I'm about to get some shopping done with my son. And then y'all pray he drives us back home safely. <laughs>